Good evening, everybody. This is Jim Sinecropi inside the FingerLakes1.com studios in downtown Seneca Falls, where earlier this afternoon, violent storms ripped through the heart of the former village of Seneca Falls, northern Seneca County, Yates County, uh, Cortland County was hit particularly bad, Cuga County. Um, as of this hour, there are 17,833 people in New York State without power. 3,703 of those are in Seneca County, concentrated mostly in uh, northern Seneca Falls or central uh, Seneca Falls. Uh, Waterloo has power. Uh, the majority of Waterloo has power right now. 331 without power in Ontario County, 918 in Yates County, and 858 in Cuga County. Um, I had a chance to take a drive around Seneca Falls earlier today, uh, shortly after the storm, and uh, I was shocked at the condition of some trees in, in, in the former village as I, as I drove up Cuga Street and, and back down State Street and then to the Third Ward area. I was uh, seeing uh, mature trees ripped apart at the trunk and split in half and tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands of smaller limbs scattered through everybody's yard and in the roadway all the roadways were covered with uh, leaves and sticks as you drove along um, still without power here in Seneca Falls that means no street lights so uh, I can see over here the uh, Baird Street Ovid Street intersection in Seneca Falls they have a uh, police officer directing traffic there. Uh, traffic's kind of cleared up now that the five o'clock hour is coming to a close, just short of six o'clock right now. Um, earlier today when I came on live, this whole backside uh, along the Senecuga Canal, along the Seneca Falls Canal Harbor here, um, had flooded. All the uh, drainage grates uh, were clogged with uh, leaves and sticks, and that was a situation that was occurring uh, throughout all the areas that were affected by this storm because there were so many um, young leaves and, and sticks that uh, flowed into these things and just clogged them right up. As a matter of fact, some uh, folks came through, oh, about an hour ago and actually cleared that grate uh, of leaves, and then that facilitated the drainage. But before that, there was about a uh, foot of water, at least about 30% of the way up that lot towards the front of our office. Now, you may hear in the background a humming. That's our gas generator that's uh, allowing us to do this broadcast as well as keep our vital services up and online here at FingerLakes1.com. One thing that's not online, though, is the air conditioning, and those without power are in for an uncomfortable evening as it is uh, very muggy. Um, it's cooled down a little bit, but uh, certainly folks will want to enjoy their air conditioning uh, tonight when they go to bed. Um, Sheriff Jack Stenberg has just completed his press conference at the Seneca County Office of the Aging um, in Waterloo. We're waiting for word on uh, the release of what uh, information he, he had there, and we'll post that to our website uh, as soon as we get that. Um, I want to take you through some photos from the storm so maybe you can understand some of the damage i mean there was lamp posts down um, that bolted into the concrete in front of the national parks uh offices in seneca falls and elizabeth katie stanton park right across the street a couple of lamp posts just um, down on the ground with the uh, glass around the lamp post um shattered and you know that was an impressive uh thing that I saw demonstrating the violence of this storm. Also uh, saw a home on State Street where a uh, very mature black oak, a black oak that's been there as long as I can remember, had fallen into the home, uh, former home of Dr. Giuliano. Hopefully not too much damage there. Have a report of a home in Waterloo that was pelted with hail and the hail actually you know, created hundreds and thousands of uh, small holes in the siding. Um, and, and out here in front of our office, we had in the corner of where our building meets another building, we had about a half a foot of hail stacked up because that was the, the way the wind was blowing. Um, I was most uh, surprised by the tree damage. I didn't see a ton of property damage. I'm sure there's some reports of property damage that will come out. Uh, hopefully no injuries. 
Um, in Penn Yan, you know, we've talked a lot about here in northern Seneca County, but Penn Yan was also hit hard with uh, the same type of situation. Um, maybe not the severity that I saw as I, as I uh, drove around Seneca Falls, but uh, limbs down, uh, large limbs down. Uh, they canceled the sectional baseball and softball games in Penn Yan today. Um, Cuga County's issued a travel advisory. Uh, state of emergency here in Seneca County continues. Um, got reports from some local golf courses too. The Seneca Falls Country Club had a couple of small pines down um, on hole seven and nine, 20 trees overall, no major trees that would really change the uh, makeup of a particular hole. And at Silver Creek, they had, if you're familiar with the course, they have a huge willow tree off the fourth tee, and that was split in half. Um, and they're not sure yet if they're going to just take away part of that willow and, and let the other half see if it survives. But that giant, it's a, it's a big willow, was split right in half by the storm. Um, and they have a couple other trees down, but again, nothing major. Um, you know, the Red Cross is actually opening a shelter tonight uh, in Waterloo for those of you who uh, uh, really need the electricity, I think would be the main reason that they'd be doing that. Um, we'll have information, or we do have information on our website um, concerning the shelter. Um, let me see if I can take you through here, like I said, some of the photos um, from the storm. Here's that uh, tree on State Street in Seneca Falls. Um, what you'll see there, two things about this photo. One is the tree in the foreground that was just snapped off at the trunk. I mean, I can't imagine what types of wind would be required to just snap that off. And then of course, right next to it, um, it's kind of hard to see, but you see a tree was uprooted and that's that, that black walnut I was, I was talking about. And that root structure there has to be at least a, uh, at least eight to 12 feet wide and that tree fell right across the driveway um, into part of that house again I don't have any information on uh, the damage there here's the lamppost in Seneca Falls that we were talking about uh, Elizabeth K Stanton Park um, you know just toppled and you know at first I thought that maybe the trees had hit it but th there's one across the street um, with no trees around it or no trees down around it that was just toppled on its side and again those things are bolted into the concrete um, let's see what else we got here here's a picture of one of the pieces of hail this was taken at the Seneca County office uh, building in Waterloo shortly after uh, the storm went through um, let's see here if I can find some more photos for us from the storm here these are from the finger lakes uh radio group greg cotterell took a ton of photos and these these are really amazing let me see if i can get you up to the top to start um you're seeing here some of the photos that we'll be looking at um there we go we got river road and west baird street uh let me get over here for a bigger view um, again, you can see what I was talking about with all those leaves in the road, uh, pretty much everywhere you went. You know, some more trees down across the road. And just look at how that tree was just torn apart. Um, fairly large sized tree down in the road. So you can see uh, local uh, emergency workers and um, volunteer firefighters and NYSEG personnel, policemen and firemen were very busy today as that storm rolled through, clearing streets. Swaby Street in Seneca Falls, you have another tree down right across the road. Um, here's some vehicles that were obviously damaged by the trees that fell. Um, and another tree down on top of some power lines, which reminds me of something I saw too when I was driving. Um, I went to Waterloo to see the damage there, which I reported wasn't necessarily in terms of the tree damage as severe as Seneca Falls, um, but I did when I came back through town, uh, th or between the towns on 5 and 20, there was a power line across the street by the uh, stoplight by Bonnet Dental Laboratories, and there was a large limb just hanging on a uh, wire suspended across the road as folks were driving underneath it. And, you know, that just shows certainly that would have been uh, an emergency for the 
for the repair crews and emergency crews on a normal day, but it was something that they just couldn't get to. There was a vehicle parked there. Um, uh, it looked like a nice egg vehicle, uh, but there was nothing underway in terms of repairing that um, earlier when I drove through. You know, now we're getting onto Bridge Street in the Third Ward. Again, same type of scene here. Um, you know, a lot of garbage cans and other household debris strewn about. Um, East Baird Street, that tree ripped right in half. That tree just split. Um, geez, some, some pine trees that were snapped right up at the top there, snapped right off. And this is right in downtown Seneca Falls here. Um, this is uh, right by the the Ovid Street Bridge. Big tree on the corner there fell down, and uh, repair crews uh, trying to clear the road. Uh, and look at this. Look at this lamp post. Uh, again, these photos by Greg Cotterill, Finger Lakes Radio Group. Um, wow. Some example of some flooding in the grates, like as I was talking about on State Street. Um, People's Park. And there's that same picture of that uh, that uh, black walnut on State Street. Oh, trees down in the pool. I had a tree down in, in our pool at our house at, on Mechanic Street. So, uh, you know, great photos there by Greg. And uh, you can see that uh, this wasn't any ordinary storm. In fact, that I can't imagine... Um, I remember ever seeing damage to this extent um, in any type of storm around here, whether it was a winter storm, an ice storm. Um, so, you know, there are still thunderstorms moving through. Let me see if I can give you a peek at our uh, current radar situation. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. You can see that much of the activity is now to the east, but you can also see smaller storms popping up uh, behind that main front. And I think that's what you gotta be concerned about tonight. Um, those can be quite powerful, although they do appear to be less isolated, obviously, than the main uh, storms that rolled through. Uh, and again, it looks like Seneca Falls, um, Waterloo, uh, parts of Yates, Yates and Steuben County, and uh, south eastern Wayne County were the hardest hit. Um, still waiting on reports of potential of possible injuries or uh, or or reports of uh, property damage. And of course, we'll pass those along to you here on FingerLakes1.com. Um, stay with us all night tonight. Look for the latest headlines on our homepage and our news page. Track local radar at our weather center. Get the forecast. It, it does appear that tomorrow will be a, a better day uh, than today weather-wise. Um, and, of course, check out our photos and videos um, for more information on this storm. Uh, for FingerLakes1.com, I'm Jim Sinekropi. Uh, stay safe tonight, everybody.